I think we have the opposite problem with this than compared to the mulcher in that it's just ever so marginally thinner than the tractor. So actually getting it into the space is proving to be really difficult and really fiddly. Hello and welcome along and welcome back to the Old Stream Farm. We are today going to be sorting out our grapevines, finishing them off with doing some cultivating. However, uh, looking over this way here, you can see that our new vines that we planted last time have now grown up their grass. So uh, before we can go through and cultivate these, we're going to need to get those mulched and sorted. I did go through and finish off the mulching up on field five. So that is all done and finished. Uh, so I'm not going to spend too long on this uh, this morning. I'm just going to go through and get this done. And then we'll be in a position where we can get our cultivator out and try that uh, with this tractor instead. So let's line ourselves up with our slightly awkwardly angled ones here. Turn that on, drop it down, and yep, away we go. And there we go, after about an hour's worth, or an hour and a half's worth of work, we have nicely cleared up the grass, or mulched all the grass that's grown up around our vines. That should let us very easily now cultivate this whole field, which will be brilliant. Got a little bit missed at the end of the row here. So we'll just see if we can get a bit closer and clean that up. Yeah, there we go. Right, that has sorted all of this field. So we'll drop the mulcher off the back of this and then crack on with the rest. I hope we got some fuel in our fuel tank because you might notice we are very, very low on fuel in this tractor. So this tractor has cost us a bit. We've gone well over an hour with it. Uh, we're probably going to go even further over. I think we're probably going to go into a couple hours but I really did want to give this M5 a good test out. Something that we uh, might be able to get later in the year. And uh, I think would be a very useful tractor. There's actually something that's come up in the shop that would be uh, useful as well. And we have got the new mod on here. That should mean I can refuel this tractor. There we go. Uh, I don't want to buy... Got 40, we've only got 47 litres in here. How do I refuel this? Let's have a look. Uh, maybe we need to get it closer. Oh, no. I thought I had the um, mod in here that means I had to refuel from outside, but apparently not. So I'll have to get that sorted for next time because I want to add that for the realism uh, in these series. Now, this field here, I am very sure, is going to need cultivating. It has never been cultivated. And as a result, yeah, it could do with the boost to its uh, yield. Let's just have a quick look. If I go and stand in the middle, we can have a look at what the yield boost currently is. So, we have a 95% yield bonus on these at the moment. That is actually astounding. Is that because they're the new ones that have been planted? Yeah, we're down to an 82, 80, yeah. So we do need to uh, to see if we can get this yield up a bit more. How well are these fertilized? Let's take a quick look at that. Uh, everything needs rolling, but fertilization, there we go. Fertilization. Yeah, this whole field is very well fertilized. Whereas fields one and five aren't. So, uh, yeah, we need to go through and do those. I'm not quite sure why this field is so well fertilized. Especially considering we actually did harvest this field last year. So, I don't know what we've done differently, chat. Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, but, um, yeah, it's a little bit weird. We want to get right up beside this to cultivate this properly. 
And it's going to be a little bit annoying because these rows, uh, as I said last time, are not completely straight. So, uh, or are not completely north-south. So, or east-west, sorry. So they tend to end up uh, being a little bit of a pain to uh, to drive down and get really close to. Although, this little tractor seems to be doing a grand job of it. As with the mulching, this seems to be one of those jobs, especially in this tractor, that's easier to do from in the cab. I'm, I'm able to line part of my, bo uh, my bonnet up, get my angles right, and looking through the middle of it... <sighs> This is a really, really small cultivator. You have to get right up to the side with this in order to actually do it. And if you don't, you then, yeah, you really don't get up to uh, doing the middle of the field. And that's a big problem with the, how, this, how it is at the moment. Because I need to get those centre sections of these done. And I don't know if it's because I've gone too wide on the other side. In fact, no, it is. It is because I've gone too wide on the other side and therefore uh, I'm not got close enough on there in order to complete this and, and get it done. So let's bring that down and see if we can't get a bit closer. And yeah, look at that. That is now cleaning that up. So yeah, you really do with this little cultivator have to get as close as you possibly can. And there's a fair amount of... of whoa of going back and sorting it again um it's yeah it's really close work this is only a meter and a half i think how big is this oh, look at that ttr 7600 infinity uh from the antonio carrera pack is how much off uh 52 percent off that would be a Cracking little tractor. Although it's a little bit wide for what we're doing on here. That's not what I was looking at though. What I was looking at was the width of our subsoiler, which is only 1.2 meters. And I don't think either of our tractors here. Yeah, it doesn't tell me what the width of these are. But yeah, it's uh it's a very, very thin cultivator, this or subsoiler. We could do with something a little bit wider. The trouble is that uh, it's also not very expensive, this one, which is why we have it. I think we need to go and do a whole load of baling contracts in July, probably, after we have got all of this uh, work with our vines done and made sure we have the highest amount uh, that we can yield-wise from them gonna be really fiddly but uh it's gonna be worth it i think this little cultivator or this little subsoiler worked great on the back of the methane tractor i think we have the opposite problem uh with this than compared to the mulcher in that it's just ever so marginally thinner than the tractor so actually getting it into the space is proving to be really difficult and really fiddly. Let's have a look in here. It's not actually increasing our yield bonus either. I'm kind of thinking, okay, maybe this isn't worth the time that we're putting in to actually try and get this done. Because, yeah, I go to here, our yield bonus is 71%. I go to here and our yield bonus is 85%. I think our time would actually be much better spent from the looks of things on actually going and getting uh, getting this fertilized instead. Now, the question is, do we have any money for fertilizer? Ah, oh, I, do you know what? I do want to run a quick test. We've done all that mulching on all of our grapevines. And uh, is it actually going to make any difference to do these two jobs? Or am I going to... Because this here seems like it's still all cultivated. 
And that is making zero difference in there either. So, yeah, I don't think we need to cultivate any of this. And this is a lot of wasted time trying to get it done. Instead, I think we can spend our time much more wisely trying to get... Well, to get our other parts fertilized, if we can. So, let's have a look over here. Let's drop this off. It might be time to return the M5. Uh, simply because we're at 1.8 hours with it. And I wasn't planning on using it to do the uh, to do the other job. The only downside is that I have used... I've just put a lot of fuel into this. With the expectation we were going to do a load of stuff with it today. Let's hook it up to our uh, fertilizer spreader and just have a look how much fertilizer we got in there have we got enough to go and do our fields or am i gonna have to go and sell some lettuce or something like that which we do need to do by the end of the month we have okay we've got a little bit of fertilizer in here Let's go and have a look and uh, and see if we can't put some of this on of our fields at the top and uh, get the fertilizer state up a bit before these go and grow another level again. So let's bring this into here. Now, as per last time, we discovered that we need to fertilize every single row. Uh, otherwise, our field is not fully fertilized. So on with that, and away we go. I don't think this goes down very quickly. I think we're uh, we're pretty good on this. But yeah, it doesn't do every single row unless we actually do every single row. You can see it. Yeah, it just, it just kind of reaches between the two. So I'm going to start off doing every other row and getting it done like that. And then uh, we should be in a position after that that we can go and uh, do our field down at the front. Do field one and that will get both of them done. Beyond doing the cultivating in those fields, I really don't know what we can do to raise our yield more uh, in those uh, those grapevines on the cow meadow they are fully fertilized uh the ones at the end they are cultivated and uh done and that doesn't seem to have had any effect um we can't put any more fertilizer on there we don't need to weed them the only thing i can think is the fact that they need rolling but there is no roller we have that is of a width that will do that so yeah it's a little bit odd that neither the mulching nor the cultivating is having any effect unless we're doing it at the wrong time of year that's the only thing i can think uh, of why we're not getting the kind of boost we're expecting uh is that it's just just not working it's just not doing uh what it's supposed to so i'm gonna have to look into that uh if you have any suggestions or any notes please feel free to put them into the comments uh always welcome uh if you want to point me in the right direction uh, and uh yeah i'm gonna do my own research because i think there's a lot of people who will be going through and doing the cultivating and doing the mulching and expecting it to boost their yield of their uh grape crop and, uh, and finding that actually it's doing nothing. So I'm up at the top end of the field. I'm just doing this top row here. But then I want to show you guys something. Because, uh, well, it's fairly important in how you fertilize your grapes. As I said, you do need to go and do every other uh, every row. Because we discovered this last time. And I'll show you how that presents itself on the map. So we've currently done every other row on field five. And uh, you can see that while we have these thin strips down here, uh, we haven't covered the whole field. And, and so we need to get this whole field fertilized. So I, I'm, what I'm going to do 
is uh, I've gone and done the end row. We're now going to turn around. Uh, and you can actually see that the dark patches where it says fertilized, although it does include the grapevines, doesn't cover the whole field. So, yeah, we're going to go through. And uh, I think the, the thought to it is that you then spray and fertilize the leaves on this side, I'm guessing. Uh, I'm not 100% certain on that. But uh, certainly from what we saw last time, it's a kind of necessary thing to do. And I'll demonstrate that at the end of this row. Because as we've got a full fertilization now on these top rows, we can just jump out here and jump into here. And you can see we've got a 58% yield bonus. Uh, yeah, 58% yield bonus. Uh, whereas if I go a couple of rows over to one of the ones that's incomplete, you can see that yield bonus is only showing at 52 on that row. And yeah, back up to about 50. No, only showing about 52, 53. So yeah, we, we need to do every row to get the maximum yield bonus across the whole field. We've been charged for a second hour's use on the Kubota, so our money has gone down again. Uh, I have enjoyed using this tractor. It has been really, really useful on here, and I think we will buy one. Uh, I don't think we're going to have a use of this beyond today. Uh, I wanted to just try it out with the DLC coming out uh, today. It, it made sense to give these a try and see how well it works. And it does work well. Uh, for the mulcher, it's been brilliant. For spraying, it's been brilliant. Uh, we've had a harder time with that little cultivator subsoiler, um, but it's uh, it's okay. It's I think it's something a little bit wider. It will work fine. So something in sort of the the maybe two meters, two point four meter bracket uh, would uh, would do better. So I need to have a little look and see how possible that is um but for this spraying it's been brilliant and uh, and has worked really really well so yeah and uh, it's good to spread the load with our antonio carrera tractor as well a little bit too so um yeah i'm liking this a lot uh, this little kubota let's finish that there Right, so uh, field five should now be completely done. We do need to do another stage of fertilization on there. So we'll be looking to put that on in July. Uh, harvest time for grapes kicks off in uh, September. So we're, I'm hoping that we're going to be able to harvest in September. If we can do that, uh, then we're going to have a good July uh, to get it sprayed and uh, and sort of july august maybe to get some baling contracts done i think i need to get some water into our lettuce uh greenhouses as well those are looking a little bit parched and we need them to keep producing stuff and um, because they are a good source of money for us as well uh, the other thing we need to keep an eye on of course is the progress of our wool uh, and our, our factory there just to see how well that's doing what is our yield bonus here is 35 percent at the moment so let's boost that and uh, again get that going and yeah this is not using fertilizer very fast i think this is probably going to take us through to next month very nicely Coming to the end of the field ready to turn around and go back on every other row and it's gone quite well the maneuverability of this tractor is quite good so it helps to be able to turn around and uh, and get ourselves lined back up um but it's yeah it's <sighs> i don't know what it is there's there's something a little bit annoying i think that's that's eating at me about uh the fact that the cultivating and the uh mulching seems to have had zero effect i don't know if it's something that has to be done in order to get the most from the fertilizing and that's why it's not making any difference over on the other field but even then it's it's a case of 
I don't quite know how that other field is fully fertilized. Uh, yes, we did make sure that when we cut the grass and then uh, planted, we were we rolled and everything to try and give us a full fertilization state on the grass before it planted. But I don't know why that's held over to this year on there and uh, and how that's had such a positive effect. I mean, I probably shouldn't look, look a gift horse in the mouth, but I would really like to know because why can't I then apply that to these fields? That would be really, really good and make a, uh, a massive difference to us. As I was saying over the last few videos, how much we managed to boost this yield this year is going to be of huge importance simply because uh we have more grapes it's good or more vines to harvest it's going to take us more time to do it uh, and as a result we are going to get charged more for our harvesters use this year for the lease of that uh we're likely to go over the hour i think this will probably take us a couple of days to harvest these this year uh, and so, yeah, very, very important for us to uh, get the most out of the grapes to make up for that extra cost we're expecting to have this year. But um, I'm just not 100% sure exactly what it is that boosts our yield enough. There we go. So we are now up to a uh, full first stage, fert uh, first stage fertilizing. You see, there we go. That should make a difference. Right there. Those don't need ploughing. Those do. And in fact, yes, it all needs ploughing. That is what is going on here. So that is, is what the difference that the cultivator or the, the subsoil that we've got is making. <laughs> is it removes the plowing requirement so it should make a difference it absolutely should make a difference and i think we might have to grab a wider subsoiler in future in order to do that but yeah needs plowing it needs rolling and if i come over here needs rolling so yeah that's the difference that it makes uh, it removes the plowing state and should increase. So uh, we've got a 95% yield bonus over here. And we've got a 95% yield bonus over here. Why is our yield bonus? Oh, it is. Look. Needs plowing. Yield bonus is 72%. So if I come up here... I think we're going to find that we now have, where we don't need ploughing, a uh, better time of it up here. 86%. That, that is what it is. We need to plough these in order to get our yield bonus. And so that is why we've got to get that subsoiler out and get it working. So, yeah. The places where it does need it doing, we need to do it. And uh, it's going to boost our yield in these fields as well, um, which is currently sitting down at 62%. So, yeah, need to get that job jobbed. Um, so uh, it may not show any difference on the ground, but a difference is being made. So knowing that, what I'm going to do is hook this back up and we're gonna get this field here finished for its subsoiling as uh, much as we need to to clear the needs plowing state uh, across here uh, it's not very many rows and we won't have to do the whole of this field uh, we are gonna have to do the whole of the next one uh, next two though uh, in order to solve this problem and uh and get everything doing i don't think looking at this that we need to be right up everywhere but we just need to clear the vast majority of this out so i'm not overly worried about getting right under 
our vines. I just want to clear as much of this area though as I possibly can. This is the last row and should clear this up on this field. So the rest of this field, yeah, does not need doing at the moment. It is all uh, in a state that's plowed. And there we go. This row uh, is not too bad. We've got, we've got a few bits here. This is why I think I need a slightly wider subsoiler. I think if we have a look in here, uh, subsoilers. That is 1.5 meters for that one, 1.2, 1.5. So that is slightly wider and would probably do us a little bit better for this job. Uh, it is 5,000 though, uh, yeah. And then we're starting to get up to three meters, which is too wide. So uh, I think 1.5 meters for that. I might also have a look and see what we've got in the uh, mod hub. See if there's a, a mod that goes well that would work. Uh, what I think we need to do, though, at this point is probably return this tractor. Um, and I think we'll see if we can sell some stuff next time and get things going pop that off um but yeah this tractor is uh has been pretty good i'm i'm pretty happy with it. actually seeing as we're trying to use the fuel up on it a bit let's go get some water for our uh greenhouses with it because our greenhouses are really quite dry at the moment yeah i think that's what's wrong with the greenhouses let's go have a look they're looking very dead in here. Yeah, it is water. That's exactly what our problem is. We need uh, we need water for both. Uh, once we're out of seeds, we are going to be moving these as well. Getting them uh, down into the lower part of the farm. Because we have space down there for them. And uh, it'll help us to expand the farm up here. Oh, uh, yeah, how's this work on the water trailer? This actually works pretty well on the water trailer. I'm liking that. I mean, the G series would work great on this before, uh, as uh, as others have said. But um, yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking this as a good all round tractor on the farm. It would be uh, it would be a very nice addition. Two tanks of water into each greenhouse should cover us for now, especially as the seed amount is dwindling. And, uh, yeah, this will be the last of the lettuce that we get out of here. Have a quick look at this. There we go. Yeah, so we've got uh, 10,000 litres of water in this one, 12,000 in the other. So we will hit 12,000 yet in here too. Uh, we've got enough seeds for a little bit. So three seeds produces 48 lettuce. So, yeah, we we got plenty to keep going and uh yeah we use twice as much fertilizer as we do seeds so we're not too bad we're actually going to run out of fertilizer then before we run out of seeds in both of these so uh yeah when we get down to that point and down to sort of last 100 liters of seeds we might be able to put a couple of hundred liters of fertilizer in here um but uh, i don't think we need to do much more than that to uh to clear these out and get the last of uh, the lettuce out of those before. As I said, we move them down into the yard uh, to make way for some grapevines come the next year on here. Uh, but this, I think, is the end of the road for the Kubota. Uh, it's been great using it over the last couple of days. Uh, I think it's a tractor that we are looking to get on here. We are certainly going to be getting some... Uh, Probably getting some contracts to try and afford some extra stuff. And this will definitely be in there. It'd be really nice if it came up for sale. Because, uh, yeah, 64500 Which is not bad at all, actually. Uh, would be a great little addition to the farm. The only thing it doesn't have that would be quite useful is a front three point. But, yeah, not an option on this. So uh, that is the reason to keep our other tractor about. Uh, but yeah, so um, I think that's where we're going to leave it for today. So all that remains 
is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Bertram Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.